Hey everybody, um, one other thing that I wanted to show before I close the chapter for Halloween edition of my video. I carved three different carvings on my pumpkin this year. This one is a vampire, male vampire, and a female victim there. Um, I use a stencil book, so these come out generally pretty good. This one is a bat. It didn't come out that great because it broke in the middle. The eyes are supposed to connect uh, with a little piece in the middle. And it's just hard to angle this. The eyes are supposed to be there in the middle, but it, it didn't come out that well. And then the other one that I wanted to show you is a ghost face that I did. The vampire one actually looks good on camera, though. So that one. I like the way that looks on camera. I think I did pretty good. I used a stencil book for them, like I said, so... Usually they're easy, but there's a few of the harder ones in there that require a little bit more skill because you have to use um, a cutting tool that is very, very, very tiny, and you have to be careful not to cut into the pumpkin, or else, you know, things are going to fall off, like the bat that I just showed you, because the pieces, the eyes are connected, they're like that, and then there's a piece in the middle, of, a piece of very thin pumpkin that connects both of the eyes in the middle, and it just messed up, so it screwed up. Um, the vampire, excuse me, the vampire one was a little tricky because um, each section, let me pick it up and describe it. With the piece underneath the vampire, underneath his chin, that was originally very thin. I had to widen it. The fangs are easy, that's no problem. The mouth was all, all easy. The hair on as well. You'll see sections of the hair that are like cut further. That's because the hair was also kind of tricky. The eye, the woman's eye there, that was a little bit tricky too. Making it look like her eyes closed. I think it did come out pretty good though, for the most part. Ugh, it's heavy. Even though it's got three sex and. Yeah, sex. Uh, even though it's got three sections missing, it is still kind of heavy. And with the top of it, I did it kind of like a spider web this year. The way it, that each end comes down and back up, down and back up. I thought it was very cool, and it's nice to know how it's going to sit on the pumpkin. That way you can pick it up, put your light in, and just leave it alone. Putting this back on here. There we go. Got that. Now the pumpkin just sits out and rots. But then I've got my pumpkin in the background there, which is always going to be there. It's a plastic pumpkin, so I leave it around. I leave it out year round. I got some makeup on my eyes still. That's why it looks a little bit darker. But it's okay. Um, what else to say? Yeah, the reason why it's okay is because uh, it's very close. It'll eventually go away on its own. When I shower, <clears throat> probably tomorrow, because I'm not going to shower tonight. I just took that, took a, a washcloth, a bigger washcloth towel, and put some hand soap on it. I rubbed it all over my face, getting the makeup off. That face makeup's not usually a problem. Um, since I used lipstick around my eyes, that's most, mostly what that is, is just the lipstick sticking on there. And like I said, it'll go away on its own and throughout showers. It's almost five minutes into this video. I just wanted to show my pumpkin. Um, outside the decorations that I have, I have three different kinds of pumpkin lights. I'd show you, but the webcam doesn't go that far. 
um, we didn't take any pictures either. So what is on cam is what we have for this year. I do the same thing every year. Um, if I get some more money, I might buy more decorations for next year. We'll see how that comes out next year. Uh, for this year, it's over. Next year, like I said, I, I do hope to be able to go to a Halloween party instead of trick-or-treating on my own. You know, it kind of sucks, but typically, whatever, because I, I said what happened in the other video about last year. I didn't go last year because I was told that I was too old and I regretted not going. So this year I went with it and I went for it. And for the most part, I had fun. Yeah. That was what it's about. Just going out and having fun. Meeting new people and getting candy. I've got my candy sorted now. I have all my uh, now and laters and my Wonka candies and things in a bag in my refrigerator. And I'm going to put my chocolate in the freezer. I like frozen chocolate because it not only lasts longer, but even though since it's harder, um, it tastes sweeter for some reason. Frozen chocolate tastes sweeter to me. I don't know. Um, what else? We had a bowl of candy this year, and we only had two trick-or-treaters. I mean, like I said, a lot of people in this particular area are older, so we don't get very many trick-or-treaters. Um, down towards where uh, the mall, where I went, uh, we had people living there that said that they had more trick-or-treaters this year than they did last year, and that was a good thing. Because, yeah, it is a good thing to have more and more younger people in this area. We need to have more closer to my house, too. People my age around my house would be great. I might have to hang out at the college sometime and just see if I can meet new people. For now, though, that is all in this video, and I hope you guys enjoy. Again, if anyone lives in Pinellas Park, Florida, feel free to private message me and maybe we'll get into contact. Hopefully. Till then, uh, be well and be safe. Blessed be uh, for anyone that's out there on this Sabbath. Peace. I'm just going to wait till 8 minutes strikes. 7.55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 8.